Hi everyone, so I just wanted to check in with you all and say that I made some progress on my manuscript, but it's still not enough because I keep on getting distracted. And I know I keep saying that, but it's the truth. I keep getting distracted, which is something I need to work on with myself. But um, I'm gonna make some more progress and I love the scenes um, in it. It's typical girl um, fighting scenes, not fighting, but like arguing about certain things. And I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's, it's coming together fine. But it's only round two, so I need to figure out um, some more stuff when I continue more of the edits as the several rounds come. I don't know how many rounds of editing I'm gonna need for this book. But comment down below some of the advice you would give somebody who's um, do, during the editing, doing the editing phase of their book. So yeah. So hi everyone. So I'm looking at my channel and I'm seeing that um, I have some new subscribers. So I just wanted to take the time out to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel. And I am getting views, which is nice, but it's, I wish that I was getting more views. But I also know that it takes time to be great at something. So I know that it, with time, things will go in my favor. But thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and following me along my author journey. I really much appreciate it. And I noticed that one of my videos is is getting more views, which is really nice to to know. But thank you so much once again. Effectively. Being able to write a book about your life is so unique that no one can do it for you the way you can. Writing a book about your experiences at university and what you've learned during the process of writing your exams is so essential to your growth and development. Writing a book about your life as a whole and what you've learned right now, including the key lessons that have made you to become the person you are today, actually add value to the community. But there's something about transparency and vulnerability that authenticates your voice even more. So I'm working on the self edits to my book and I was just reading this part and it, it turns out there's like an, uh, a misunderstanding between both um, people in my book, which, uh, which the main character is a fool and her roommate, who I'm not gonna say her name yet, but um yeah they have an argument and they and it leads to something more and i just wanted to spark up the conversation have you ever went to college and if so did you have a, um issues with your roommate and how did you resolve that so i'm just going through the book and seeing some little stuff that i can talk about and some interesting points in the book so well, hi everyone i just wanted to know like do you ever get discouraged by like you're writing and you think that your writing abilities are not good because sometimes I feel that way. Like maybe my writing is not the best and maybe nobody wants to read it. And I always get this self-defeating doubts, but I have to remind myself that I'm starting out and that everything happens for a reason and that I am worthy of being a good author. I just need to have a better editor and I need to find some people that are towards my directed audience. So, yeah. um, I'm continuing to read the book Show Don't Tell and it's talking about how to describe emotions and I feel like I, I do this a lot where I describe the emotion by telling it rather than showing how the person is feeling whether the person is crying or angry or or some other or frustrated or something so I need to work on that but this one is really good it says um readers read for the emotional experience without emotions your book would be flat especially in character driven stories such as romance novels showing emotion instead of telling them and is essential so I, I need to work on that but i'm really loving this book and hopefully it will help me to be better at showing than telling so we'll we'll see how, about that so hi everyone so i'm making progress in my book but i also feel a little bit discouraged like i'm not doing what i need to do to make my book be the best that it can be and i feel like i need to like get out of my head and you know have you ever felt that you you try your best but like you get discouraged and also like somebody just said something rude about my book saying that oh good luck getting it to 
um, is outside his racial perspective, which kind of got me down. But I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on working on my book and it's going to be better because some people just project their negativity onto others because they're feeling some type of way about their own life. So I'm not going to let that stop me. So I revisited the book, Show, Don't Tell, and I saw some point that's really interesting. She said to um, there's eight ways to reveal some e emotions without telling. And the first one, using physical response. I think that's very interesting because what I meant to say is that in my books, I always tell how the person is feeling. But this one, using their physical responses, such as them having a clammy hands or i um, feeling tense to describe them being anxious. I think that's really interesting. And I think I'm going to use that moving forward. So everyone, um, hi again. It's me again. <laughs> um, I'm talking um, to you about how do you find motivation to continue? Because like I am, I do, I am motivated to finish my self edits for my book but I feel like I'm not that motivated and I lack the discipline so I want to know how do you get discipline and st and stay focused I know you, I'm I'm I don't know, I'm the type of person that I don't stay focused for long so I need to work on that but I keep trying and I'm gonna keep on trying until something gets better with that and also, these um, videos are helping me keep myself accountable for um, working on my book because sometimes I feel like I'm not really that motivated, but when I know I have to make a video or something like that, it keeps me motivated. So I don't know. I'm going to keep on trying and see where things land me because I know I, I can do this and I know I have to put my, be more positive in my everyday life, just like I, I said that about my um book jar of positivity but um yeah so i want to make more author friends like how do you make more author friends somebody told me to go on writergram on instagram but i'm trying but that out but that doesn't work and like people will follow me here and there but like nothing really sticks and people don't really comment on my stuff so like how do you get more engagement on your instagram or social media in general and if you followed me this long in this video please consider subscribing and liking and also make a comment like comment book emojis on the <laughs> comment book emojis on the, in the comments so i know that you watched it all the way to the end